Hey guys, welcome to the move. I'm Jay, your host, and let's talk about something right quick. This upcoming election is ridiculous in the craziest of ways. And one of the things that I'm seeing, one of the biggest problems that I'm having is the lack of respect. And it's not between Trump, Clinton, Johnson, or Stein. It's between their representatives and their people. Now, no story about me is that I've been knocking doors all over this country from California, Chicago, here in New Jersey. That's East Coast, West Coast, Midwest. I have knocked on doors all over this country in political uh, means, like, you know, to speak to people about issues or, you know, when it was Cali was actually, um, <laughs> it was actually changing them to Fios, but it still remains the same, still remains valid. You know, people, if you are willing to show people respect, they're willing to listen. If you're willing to converse instead of lecture, they're willing to give you an ear and legitimately take your concerns in because when you do that you acknowledge that yes even though i may not agree with you i do respect where you're coming from and when you ask for that same respect you never know because respect can change respect changes minds you know respect will get people thinking and feeling you know saying on your way and if not at least a level of understanding you know because there's no way to understanding without discourse that's on my twitter profile but it's a very true statement that the road to discourse that the road to understanding takes place on discourse via discourse we got to talk about these things we got to hash them out but when you start to lose it and you get insulting and you get angry and you get upset and you lay and you let your emotions take over for your logic and the next thing you know you're swinging at somebody or you know just so angry like yelling and you know your temperature just rises and you just want to punch them in the face because they are so like you know they're so dumb but just calm down relax because the deal is is that as long as you hold that anger, as long as that emotion is very clear and it's evident that you're working off of emotion instead of logic, then, you know, you lose. You lose. When it becomes not about a logical line of reasoning, but the way you feel, honestly, fuck your feelings. No one cares about your feelings. Your feelings are just feelings they're inclinations they're how they're the manifestation of your life's experiences and you know things you've seen and your perspective without and, and without even admitting or acknowledging that hey guess what someone else can come from a completely different perspective and so that's how we end up in a lot of unnecessary crap and unfortunately there are industries you know i mean it's profitable Everything's profitable now. There is, I don't think there's a thing on earth that capitalism cannot take for its own means. You know, like, that's why there are people with legitimate issues with the Black Lives Matter movement. There are people with legitimate issues to any and everything. There is good and evil on both sides of every battle. That is a Game of Thrones quote, and it's some really legit shit. And your heart might be in the right place, but... You know, if you're sitting there, if your heart's in the right place, that's even more of an inclination that you're thinking, you know, saying what your feelings instead of from a logical place that benefits everyone. You're thinking about yourself. <clears throat> and so when it comes to this election, I'm not voting for either one, either Trump or Clinton. I'm voting for Batman because I love Batman and, <laughs> and really democrats own new jersey there there there's almost a million more democrats than hillary clinton should win new jersey very easily as well as with california and chicago and all these other places that democrats muster in and and have their large groups of people who you know they're 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 benefiting from the system and so why would you want to change something you benefit from all i'm saying is that Unless we love each other, 
And unless we love each other enough to respect other people's opinions, then guess what? There's You're going to meet really, really hard resistance, much harder resistance than you would if you're just like, well, why? Okay, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Do you mind explaining it? And just keep pressing, keep pressing until that person loses their shit. And then step back and say, hey, 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 I'm not your enemy. We, we, I'm just, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. And explain to them and talk to them. And you never know, man. You not just make friends, but, you know, get people on your side. Whichever side that is. Because this is America. You can do whatever the hell you want. If you don't want to vote at all, guess what? You ain't got it. I'm going to love you regardless. Talk to you later, guys. This has been The Move. I'm Jay. Peace.